Today we are on tour of London. So we're here for four days or four nights. Four, four nights. Five nights. Uh, five nights. Five nights, four, four days. days I think. We're here with the theater company, the Signet Theater. You've seen us post about them before. Um, we're here to see three shows. Um, the director and the, the who's, what's Bill? He's the... Um, they said he's the finance guy. So. He, he basically <laughs> runs the theater company, and then then um, Sean is the actual um, artistic director. So they are they're here with us, and um, they're taking us to these plays and giving us their opinions on them, as well as uh, all of the cool touristy stuff that we're doing. Uh, so today we did a walkabout with um, of hidden treasures. Yeah, hidden London it was called. Hidden, hidden London, yeah. um, and we had a professional. A professional tour guide, him and his wife. We, there's 30, 30 of us that were on the tour, so they group, they put us in two different groups of fifteen. We rode the tube today a couple yeah, times. We got to ride the tube, which was really interesting. You basically, I guess they used to have a special card for it, like a ticket but card. You can still do that. I, yeah, but they, I guess they said they're phasing that out. So you, by the time you come, that that might be phased out. But you just bring your your bank card with the tap. And you can you tap it when you go in, and then you tap it when you go out, and then it charges you by the distance you travel. When they and they say that if you're going to use it multiple times a day to use the same card because it gives you discounts the more you use it. As yeah, a day goes actually, on. if you use it so many times, so you wind up being free rides. Yeah, so you want to make sure and use the same card all day long, and you can't. You do have to have it per person. So even though Charles and my um, we we use our executive. Um, Citibank Executive American uh, American Airline card, and even though it's the exact same card, we both have to tap ourselves. Yeah, so so that worked out really. That yeah. worked out. It was super easy, and riding the tube was fun. It's it's so fast. I was really surprised at how fast. Oh it was. really? Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. Nineteen years from now, it will be two thousand years since the Romans arrived, and they crossed the river, and they established a trading port on the north bank of the River Thames. And that trading port they called Londinium, and it grew in And then we went to St. Paul's Church, uh -huh. which is the, St. Paul is the patron saint of London, and St. Paul's Church is, is huge. Um, who, who, Lord Nelson is buried there, and Winston Churchill was there, was, um, when his body was on display, display before he, before they buried him, yeah. they displayed him there. And St. Saint, Saint Barth, no, St. Paul's Church. Which church is it? I get it mixed St. Paul's is the big Saint, one, St. Yeah. Bart's is the old one. Yeah. yeah. So St. Bart's, um, which is just a, a hop, skip, and a jump away, is the oldest church in London proper. Yeah. And, 1123. Yeah. yeah. And we saw a lot of, um, a lot of the churches were, were destroyed during the fire and the war, and or the war, I should say. And so a lot of the church, I have, I keep biting my tongue. Um, a lot of the churches have been rebuilt. Um, and then you could see where like some you say, damage bullets? from the war. Yeah. yeah damage, like debris yeah. from the bombing. Um, yeah. yeah. In fact, they were, I guess some huge bomb landed in front of 500 pound. Five, yeah, 500 pound bomb landed in front of St. Paul's Cathedral and would have just blown it all away had it not landed unexploded and they were able to take it out of town and set it off. And and so the crater that is when they when they disposed of it, the crater was um what did you say? Um hundred meters away? I don't remember what he said. It was it was, it was huge. huge. It would have blown away the whole church. And, yeah, and that whole yeah. that whole neighborhood area. And when Victoria was told we would be coming to St. Paul's <laughs> to celebrate your sixty years, she said, I'm not going in. And they went, but why not? And she said, I've been there before. <laughs> There's too many steps. I am older. It will be difficult and possibly humiliating for me to be pushed and pulled up the steps. And the church had been there since, since the early 18th century. Um, it was the, the original church was destroyed during the fire of London in 1666. And then Christopher Wren was a was an architect who built a lot of the churches. Rebuilt so fifty seven fifty seven yeah. churches were destroyed during the the, the fire. fire, and 
what's his name Wren? I don't remember. Christopher Wren. Yeah. He he rebuilt fifty wait, there was fifty seven ruined during the fire and he rebuilt fifty one of them or something like that. Yeah. I may have the numbers wrong, but they're both in the fifties. Um and so it was amazing that he did so many and he had a he had this big grand idea and they're like no, 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 because that's too much like the Roman Catholics. And, um, but he had this big contract signed, and so he changed some of the designs. Yeah, basically, he wanted all of the churches to have steeples, except for St. Paul's was to have this big dome. And they told him, no, we don't want it to have a dome, because that's too Roman, and it brings up their Roman past of London, and, or, and Roman Catholicism, which was... Their um, Roman Catholicism that was the been, main thing. Like, excised from, from English <laughs> England at that time. But um, he put. He said, "Okay, I won't build it with the dome." But then he put a clause in the contract that says he could basically do whatever he wanted. The clause got overlooked. So this is dome. Do you remember how big that was? I don't. There's a lot uh, of stacks, stacks of figures. Yeah. The, the, um, but it, it's actually a dome, and then it has a layer, and then there's a, a layer of brick. So it's actually three domes. Yeah. Um, to, to help hold the support of of the of the the steeple on top yeah the meat market i thought was really neat because it's all cast iron and it's painted these really gaudy colors which i thought was really cool but was, what was really interesting about the meat market is back in the day all of the streets are named with what the trade the trade was so the market was and so back in the day where the current meat market is was the cattle exchange and it's right at the end of cow street at, right so and um but it's like milk street exchange the milks and and roosters the chicken or and chicken, cloth street and cloth street and so it was really interesting that all of these streets the names are still there and that's what was traded there in fact cock place is where the prostitutes used to hang out. right right because it's just outside of the the london proper um city limits so the police didn't harass them and such yeah. Yeah. so so, so far, so good. This was the first, our first full day, and I had a great time. Yeah. Tomorrow is a day on our own, and so I've already got a list on Atlas Obscura. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're going to go see the London Eye. The London Eye wasn't here last time I was here. I was figured out it was 38 years ago. Um, so, we're going to see the London Eye. We're going to go to the big, big to Big Ben and do some of the touristy things tomorrow. Yeah, definitely. Um, we got a lot of walking in today. And a lot of the old co cobblestone streets were still here. And you could see some of the old wall from the original city. So. And then at the end of the day, we finished with the, with the show at the Young Vic. So we saw so a face young, in the crowd. So the Young Vic, what, I don't know if you heard this. Um, one of the gals was saying how we've been here before. And there's an old Vic, which is one of the oldest theaters in right, London. Yeah. And it's on the opposite side. So the, the, the Young Vic that we went to today is made um it's in more of um a younger neighborhood and there's actually a bar attached to it and so it's 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 made to uh, attract some of the younger it's definitely more trendy and experimental theater and things like that i yeah. thought yeah yeah so but the 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 the, the performance was fantastic i yeah i definitely I it. so i'm charles i'm carolyn thank you for sharing the, the wonder, wonder about, about us, us.